How you doing out there uh, from Chicago Comic Con? It's Sunday, the last day, and we're winding down from a really, really long and terrific weekend. Um, I'm sitting here with Colleen Duran, a mega artist, writer, uh, have done just about everything. <laughs> um, why don't you go over some of the things you've done? You, you do your own book, A Distant Soil, um, and you've done a lot of other DC products and some other projects. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. About what? <laughs> about some of the stuff you've done. About some of the stuff I've done. Well, I've done uh, something in the vicinity of 300 plus comic books by now. I've worked on Amazing Spider-Man, Valor, The Legion of Superheroes, X-Factor, Excalibur, Clive Barker's Hellraiser, Clive Barker's Nightbreed, Anne Rice's Master of Rampling Gate, Walt Disney's Beauty and the Beast, and many more. And now you're doing your own book, Distant Soil. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, I write and publish and draw, and I'm the creator of uh, Distant Soil, which is what is oxymoronically called a science fantasy. And uh, it comes out, oh, sort of kind of bi-monthly from my own company. It's a black and white comic book. Fortunately, it's one of the better selling self-published black and white comic books in the industry today. And I also have another book coming out in October called 101 Things Your Publisher Doesn't Want You to Know, The Comic Book Creator's Guide to Art and Entertainment Law with legal consultant Mike Lovitz, who is a copyright and trademark specialist. And like I said, that'll be out in October and it will come uh, cover the vagaries of art and entertainment law as it applies specifically to the comic book industry. Wow, that sounds great. How long did it take you to get to, to compile the book together? Well, it's taken me something in the vicinity of two years to research this book. And uh, boy, <laughs> are you guys getting a bargain because it cost me about $800 to get all of the reference materials to do the book. But it's a four-issue series that's going to cost uh, readers in total less than $20. So uh, we're simply distilling everything that we learn into as concise a form as possible so that uh, creators won't fall for stupid lines like, sure, verbal work for hire is binding. Uh, I'm tired of seeing people getting ripped off, especially kids. There are a lot of people that are perfectly happy to take advantage of young kids that don't know what they're doing and don't have appropriate legal counsel. There are kids out there getting real estate lawyers to go over their contracts. They don't know what the heck they're doing. So uh, this book is to give them uh, at least the basic information they need to get a head start. And more importantly, it will also include a very comprehensive guide to artists' resources, including a listing of the volunteer lawyers for the arts in the United States and Canada, a state-by-state -state listing, resources for accountants and businessmen for the arts, grant sources, artists' colonies, uh, just about anything you can think of, it's in there. And uh, a lot of creators don't take advantage of these uh, free or low-cost services. So I've made as comprehensive a listing as possible so that young creators who maybe don't have the resources that wealthier people do will be able to get the same kind of legal protections and financial advantages. Well, doing a little bit of uh, artwork myself, that would be interesting. Is this going to be available in comic book stores and regular bookstores? It'll be available primarily in comic book shops. I will probably eventually license it for mainstream distribution. And it's going to be in comic book form. Uh, not, you know, just in the format, not little panels and whatnot, uh, and at a very inexpensive price. Each volume is only four and a quarter, and 10% of the cover price goes to benefit the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. Very worthwhile. Uh, you'll see a little bit about the Comic Legal Defense Fund later on in this tape. Um, is there anything that you'd like to discuss? Uh, any upcoming projects? Well, I'm doing a lot of different stuff. Uh, I've got trading card work coming out from, gosh, it's about everybody. Uh, she trading cards, Vampirella. I've got a piece in the Vampirella calendar, interestingly enough, to ink by, uh, by Buzz. Uh, let's see. I'm doing a mini-series for Milestone called Technique. It's a four-issue mini-series written by Joe Duffy, who's the writer of Catwoman. Well, former writer of Catwoman, and she's also writing Glory. 
story for Image Comics right now. I'll be penciling and inking that series, which makes me very happy because it'll actually look like I actually drew it. And uh, gosh, I'm doing a chapter of a graphic novel for European distribution for NBM. And I'll be doing some of the Magic the Gathering comics for Acclaim. And uh, also some upcoming Legion of Superheroes work because I'm a big Legion fan and wouldn't miss it. So I think that's pretty much it. Okay, that sounds like you're extremely busy. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, in closing, I'd like to uh, congratulate you on your award last night at the comic uh, ceremony. Thank you very much. Um, Colleen Duran, uh, I'm Victor Lane here at the Chicago Comic Con. Uh, more to come.